Hi guys, welcome you again to another news. APC have been attacking Obi despite INEX declaration that they won uh, the presidential election. APC have been attacking Peter Obi. Of course, a lot of people might be wondering why is APC attacking Peter Obi? Of course, election has been conducted. You has been announced as the winner of the election. So why the challenge? Why the attack? Now, it has just been reviewed by Farouk Umar, who has revealed why APC is attacking Obi despite INEX declaration that they were victorious in the just concluded presidential election. Well, we would like you to see tight as we go into the full details of the news to see what is actually playing out. Let's see what, uh, let's see the reason why INEX and, uh, APC are actually attacking Peter Obi, probably because uh, Tunubu already knew what he did. That is why he's attacking Peter Obi so that justice will not be saved. Well, let's go into the full details of the news to see the four Gs. According to the news, I made ongoing public debate as regards to the authenticity of the supposedly leaked audio conversation between Peter Gregory Obi and renowned Pentecostal clergyman Bishop David Oyedepo, a chieftain of the Labour Party. Omar Farouk has come out to give reasons why all ruling APC, that is the All Progressive Congress, has continued to launch smear campaigns against its candidates, despite have claimed to have won the just concluded presidential election. Speaking during an interview on RIC TV's News Live, you know, News Night, pardon, program a few hours ago, Farouk, who is the national publicity secretary of the Labour Party, argued that the doctored audio conversation between Obi and Oyedepo is evidence that the APC wants to tarnish the image of the former Anambra governor because. It took them unaware by the large number of votes he garnered during the election, especially as you know after they had initially written him off. Going further, Farouk pointed out that the Labour Party's decision to test the electoral process that gave APC victory in the court is another reason why the ruling party has launched a campaign of calumny against its candidates. He said, they, that is the APC, underrated the power of Nigerians in their desire to have good governance. To put it in proper context, they underrated the obedience movement. Voting had already begun during the election before they realized the heavy wind that had already begun to blow across the country. It was when they saw, you know, when they saw it coming to consume them on the ballot that they then realized that they had a problem on their hands. Now, having gone to the ballots, having doctored the results through the help of INEC, an act we can, you know, we are contesting in a court of law, they have been left with no option but to start blaming and blackmailing Obi. Other issues they are throwing up, such as interim government, are all fake. Besides, APC promised the Labour Party that they were going to throw up all kinds of propaganda against our candidates, and that is what you are now seeing. They have continued to attack Obi despite INS declaration that they won. What is your own uh, point of view to this? We've just heard what has been said. We've just seen uh, the print situation of things in Nigeria why APC is attacking OB despite INEX declaration that they won uh, the presidential election. Why will they continue to attack? The voice notes, which was leaked, the audio conversation between uh, Peter Gregory OB and the renowned Pentecostal clergyman Bishop David Oyedepo, the chieftain, uh, no, a chieftain of the Labour Party, Farouk, has come out to give reasons while these people are attacking them. They are attacking because they knew probably what they've done. 
well we would like you to sit tight as we go into people's reactions to see what people have in mind concerning what has been said According to the news, we have David King, who reacted and said, APC knew what they did with INEC. Labour Party will surely get justice. Just like what I've said earlier, that probably because APC knew what they've done, that is why they are attacking Labour Party. Now, David King has said that APC knew what they did with INEC. And of course, Labour Party will surely get justice. Are you sure Labour Party can actually get justice in Nigeria? Well, we hope that justice will definitely be served. If Peter Obi actually deserves this presidency, we will see. And if it will still remain like this, we will surely see after the court judgment. And that reaction from someone does not want his name to be mentioned, who have just reacted and said, sleeplessness and guilt conscience is worrying APC. We have... Sleepless nights, we have guilty conscience. All these are worrying APC and that's why they are attacking Labour Party. APC is confused already. Their candidate is nowhere. You know, is no you know, is not recognized. Kayamo itself is confused, is about to run mad as it stands now because all these people are the ones supporting APC, you know, clamoring APC, APC, Jagaban of Lagos. Now they are all confused. They are all confused. Their candidate is now nowhere to be found. Everyone, everyone is heavy. Kayamo is confused, is about to run mad. A reaction from Elder Uzodima also reacted. You know, complementing what has been said earlier, that sleepless night and guilt, you know, guilty conscience, pardon, is worrying APC. Now, Elder Ozodema is saying, Kayamo Safe is confused and is about to run mad. APC itself is also confused already. Their candidates are nowhere to be found. Different reactions from different people. And that reaction from Buchi said, if they like, let them come up with all kinds of blackmail. Solo mandate must be retrieved. APC is a big disgrace to humanity. Uncultured people, people pardon, full of criminal gangster. That is what has been said. All of them are drug barons. How can a drug baron be a Nigerian president? A big question from Buchi. What is your take to this? A drug baron cannot be Nigeria's president if they like let them come up with all kind of blackmail of a stolen mandate would definitely be retrieved from APC. What is your take today's different reaction from different people? Would like you also to let us know your own take on this. Don't forget that it has been revealed by Farouk Omar. The reason why APC is attacking Obi despite INEX declaration that they won the presidential election. Thank you guys for listening. Do subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on other news. Bye for now.